England's maddest wrestling show may never be the same again after tonight. It is rise or die here at the warehouse in Leeds. Tom Campbell ringside with you for a night that could very well change the shape of British deathmatch wrestling. But we start with something very far removed from the world of British deathmatch wrestling, a showcase of European wrestling talent. You're gonna get used to this and you're gonna love this because in the months to come here at Rise, we are gonna be showcasing some of the fighters from across Europe and there you see, crawling along like, like a lucha snake, that is Ultima Sombra. Fighting out of Belgium, a decorated lucha performer. And he is across the ring from someone you're gonna to get to know very quickly, 23 year old MBM. MBM trained by the likes of Salvatore Belomo and Arthur Jr. Now these two know each other incredibly well. At Association Le Professionnel de Catch, they have been the tag team champions for well over three or four years now. Won those belts back in 2018, pre-lockdown, and they've been champions and tag team partners pretty much everywhere they go. But you know what? They are at their finest when they are across the ring from one another. And what a way to kick off Rise or Die. The MBM there you see in the printed shirt. Ultima Sombra. With that horrifying Lucha mask on, a, a proud tradition of lucha wrestling that spreads away from Mexico and into parts of Northwestern Europe. Take down by MBM as we are getting underway here at Rise or Die, six months in the making. The biggest stakes in Rise history in our main event. It is all or nothing. It is Darwin's British top team versus Big F and Joe and the Deathmatch Outlaws. A rise or die, no rope, barbed wire main event. We say all or nothing, and we say winner take all, and we mean it. If BTT win, Darwin becomes the owner of Rise. I cannot imagine what that would look like. However, if the Outlaws win, Darwin retires and he vacates the Rise Championship, we are either going to see the very end of Dr. Leonardo Darwin or we are going to see a horrifying new chapter written here at Rise or Die at the warehouse. Round and round go. Ultima Sombra and MBM. Neither man getting a purchase until Sombra lights up MBM with that shot to the chest. The quickness of Ultima Sombra controlling the pace at this point. And over goes MBM. Quickly turning the tide once again is MBM. In terms of experience, MBM has got a year on Ultima Sombra. MBM debut back in 2016. Sombra not far along there. Beautiful drop kick off Bret Hart's rope and Sombra. Very much in control here. Big night for you here at the warehouse in Leeds. Oasis, the Stone Roses, and you two all carve their names into the dressing room here, but nothing compares to what England's maddest wrestling show has in store this evening. As well as our huge main event, we see Nina Samuels returning to rise after a run in NXT UK. Back out in the United Kingdom and the Nina Samuel show comes to England's maddest wrestling show. And MBM striking with that kick on the apron, lines him up, neck breaker. One, two, oh, it's just a two, Ultima Sombra getting that shoulder up. Kick out by Sombra. Just a few days before this, MBM and Ultima Sombra were competing across Europe as a tag team, defending their APC tag titles. Did the same thing 
a short while a short while before that at Wrestling Cult in Oberhausen, Germany, where they are tag champions there as well. And Ultima Sombra has, has really carved out some some big wins since the world got back up and running, beating some huge names across European wrestling. MBM, no slouch himself. Bobby Guns took the fight to Ultima Sombra back at Body Zoy Anniversary 5. And Bobby Guns, a major player in Westside Extreme Wrestling. And Ultima Sombra picking up a huge win over him there. I encourage you to check that one out if you can. Roll up by MBM. Big elbow takes down Sombra, but it's only a two. Big night tonight as well. B.A. Rose gets his hands on the comedian. It will not be a laughing matter when Nathan Black has to write the checks that his ass has been cashing for the past few months. When B.A. Rose looks to make a punchline out of Nathan Black. A grudge to be settled between Boy One and Dara Diablo tonight as well. And all eyes on that huge main event as Sombra drops a huge Samoan drop. The rise or die main event, no ropes, barbed wire, and everything on the line. Ultima Sombra putting it all on the line with that suicide dive into the rise faithful. We are so excited to be seeing more action like this. Here at Rise, as we head into 2023, we are so proud of the British Deathmatch Wrestling scene. We want to share it with everybody. And look at MBM! Caution to the wind was thrown. You'll never find anybody in Leeds leaving a bar that urgently. And here comes MBM now. I love the fact that these guys are tag team champions in multiple places across Europe. But tonight they've gone, nah, we're at England's Maddest Wrestling Show. We both want to win this. Moon Salt, Lion Salt rather, misses and La Sombra. Cutter from the second rope. It's a two and a half. Sombra getting as high as my voice did just then as only a two count was registered. Thank you for joining us here at Rise. We are so excited to be back with you once again with the ill behavior. England's maddest wrestling show back up and running. And what a way to wrap up the, the autumn with a, a move that may see a huge fall. Talking of a fall, it's a two count. As autumn turns to winter, we could be looking at a winter of discontent here at Rise if Darwin's British top team can find a way to beat the Outlaws in our main event. But it could be a winter of discontent for Dr. Dealer, Dr. Leonardo Darwin. If Big Joe gets his hands on him and puts him down. Meanwhile, roaring clotheslines, not getting it done. Here comes Ultima Sombra. Falcon Arrow hits the mark. Thanks to the dude, Howe, on ring announcing duties. Coming to us from France for that one. European wrestling proudly on show here at Rise. Big win for Ultima Sombra. These two will get back on the same pace. They're tag team champions across Europe. But tonight belongs to Sombra. Well, some shocking events transpired. Hours before Rise or Die tonight and our huge main event that really sends a shot across the bows of Big Joe's team. Let's take it to the footage.
Danny, Danny, it's Lou. Um, mate, listen. Oh, mate, I'm having second thoughts about all this. Like, I really don't think like joining Darwin was like the best thing to do anymore. Like, my head's, my head's fucked, mate. I'm sitting here in the pub on my own. I just need someone to talk to. Can you come and can you come and meet us, please? I'm at the pub next to my house. I'm on my own. I've been sitting here for hours. I'm drinking. My head's fucked. I'm just. I need to speak to someone. I know you've been through it. I know, and that's why I want to speak to you. I don't know. I know. It wasn't me, though. It wasn't me. Like, I didn't. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was Darwin. Like, I, please, can you come and speak to us? Tell, tell him you love him. Tell him you love him. Danny, listen. I love you, mate. I'm on my own. Please, for me, come and speak to us. I need this. Right, I love you and all. Thank you, mate. Thank you so much. I'm at the pub next to mine, right? I'll meet you outside. I'm, I'm on my own. I'll meet you outside. He's so fucking stupid. He's such a fucking asshole. Right, gentlemen, I think it's time for us to go and fuck that piece of shit up. Looks a bit dodgy down here, man. Are you definitely on your own here? Look, I'm on my fucking own. I'm standing here. Can you understand why I don't trust you after all this? Danny, how man? Thank you for coming. It means a lot. Come here. It means so much to us that you've came here today. Like I know, I understand. It's because we've been through similar things, Lou. You know what it's been like for me. Thank you for coming. No bother. What are you doing? Let go. What the fuck are you doing, man? Get off us, man. You fucking stupid! Fucking 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 stupid fucking bastard! You fucking stupid fuck! How fucking dumb can you be? Knuckle dusters out. Ah, fuck. Punch ah, this fucking cunt's fuck. head. You know what? You need to be taught fuck. a fucking lesson. Ah, you need to be ah, fucking taught a fuck fucking off. lesson. Oh, is he gonna fucking cry victim again? Hold yeah. him up. Yeah. Hold him up. Yeah. Come knock the fucking cunt yeah. out. This is for your own fucking good boy. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> what a fucking shame. Beautiful. What a shame. You need to understand something, Dan. Rise is the promotion I fucking built. You are a dirty fucking lowlife alcoholic that pleads that he's got mental health issues. The reality is, you're just a lazy fucking... <laughs> you dirty fucking... Put him to sleep. Put that fucking dirty cunt to sleep. Choking <laughs> 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 How you wanna fucking stop me? Stop me! You fucking dirty cunt! Look at him! Oh, Lou, that's fucking beautiful. Do you know what? This is quite the thing of where this fucking low life deserves to be. Let's prop him up. This is exactly where O'Docherty is destined to be. Right, pass us that, my brother. You have a problem, don't you? You're a recovering alcoholic, my old friend. Do you know, apparently he didn't like the fact that at the last show, I poured a beer on him. So how's about this time we upgrade you? We'll give you a bit of fucking vodka! <laughs> you fucking dirty slag! You slag! You slag! You slag! Right, let's leave that there. You never know, he might get lucky, get a bit of change. Has anyone got any incentive to give him a bit of money? <laughs> Right, gentlemen, I think that was a job well done. Let's go.
disgusting conduct from Big Lou Nick. Oh, Isaac North here. Isaac North arm with a chair. Standing tall. Well, Danny's changing the guest. How about a tag team match instead? Danny O'Doherty and Isaac North against British top team. Yeah, let's do it. Me and you were supposed to be fighting tonight. I'll just be true by two cowards. The challenge was there. Why don't you fight these two lads? Over here, I'll ask you a couple of questions and we'll see why you're such a big fan. mistake. That was a mistake. You don't come to Yorkshire and do that without getting a piece. So are, these, are these two really, are they really stepping up to Daddy O'Doherty and Isaac North? I think they are. Brave, stupid, I don't know what. British top team have got this weird spell over these two young men. They go again. Daddy O'Doherty and Isaac North putting a pasted on these two British top swats, I guess we'll call them. Oh, you don't want to be swearing up to Isaac North. You've got to be a fucking idiot. Chair across the back, and these two are going to want refunds on their tickets. Oh, no. This might stop a whole new generation of British top team if Isaac North lands it. Oh, and he does. Pile driver. Daddy O'Doherty with a stunner. And a choke bomb for good measure. Isaac North and Daddy O'Doherty. The cover. The win. Could we have seen maybe a sneak preview of what is to come with British top team laying on the mat and rise, rising again? Could that be a future echo? We will find out later tonight at Rise or Die. We had a great time here in Rise. It's just the beginning, the crowd was on fire, and we're sure we will be back here in Rise, guys. We oui, will, oui, oui. yes. Oui, yes, for sure. Yeah, English. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice to know that you will be back, but what's next for you here in Rise? The next step for us is the tag team division. Rivality, we will be back to prove that we are the best team in the entire world, baby! On est les meilleurs, on va tout détruire à la rise, on est les meilleurs. <laughs> Headlines and knocking out lights everywhere he goes. Leon Slater is a star on the rise, so it is only fitting that he enters the 2022 Rise Ascent Tournament. What a bright future this young man has. And he's in there against somebody else who is 
making waves across British wrestling. The prize, a spot in the final of UK wrestling's most prestigious wrestling tournament. Another star who has been really making some waves in British wrestling, Joe Wade. A unique mindset to this young man. It's hard to tell quite what's going on with Joe Wade as of late. Might be an interesting one for, for Leon Slater to attempt to read. Rise Ascent Tournament. Featuring some of the hottest young talent from the UK wrestling scene and beyond. I'll tell you what, Joe Wade has had a busy, busy, busy few months. Competed at the first ever Sovereign Pro Wrestling event just a few weeks ago. Last night, he was competing just up the road in Newcastle at North Wrestling in a war against Joe Kessler. No doubt feeling the, the bumps from that one. You know who else was there last night? Leon Slater, one half of the North Wrestling Tag Team Champions. He was in a barn burner against Progress Wrestling's Tag Team Champion, Sunshine Machine. So these two have had their knocks over the last 24 hours and right now, about the Ascent Tournament, and Joe hasn't seen that, uh, seen that interested in the, uh, in the Ascent Tournament, but uh, he is dead inside, so what do you expect? Oh, and Leon, Leon getting bored of the mind games. He wants to get going. He wants to get the party started. Lock up, and here we go, Ascent Tournament underway. The first of our semi-final matches tonight. Later on, Liam Slater competes against Jet Marshall. A real clash of styles in that one. As Joe Wade forces Leon Slater into the corner. The Ascent Tournament has been a star-making tournament and has led to gold around the waist of those who sometimes win it. Saxon Huxley, there he goes. Was one of the winners of the Ascent Tournament won the Rise Championship, a tournament that featured the likes of the Primate, Big F in Joe, Danny O'Doherty and Pastor William Eva. The Pastor won the tournament in 2018. Drop kick by Leon. And I was there at ringside the night that the Boy Wonder won the biggest Ascent tournament ever. Beating former winner Saxon Huxley in the final, and challenged Big Joe at Somerset for the Rise Championship. What a night that was! And that's the joy, that's the glory of the Rise Ascent Tournament. Is it's hard to call who picks up the win. The biggest, it doesn't really matter if you are. The fastest, it doesn't really matter if you are. It's a real style smorgasbord. A medley of move masterminds. And Joe Wade suddenly coming out of his shell with those stomps to Leon Slater. Big boot to the face of Leon. Oh, Joe Wade in his pump right now. Taking his time on Leon Slater.
Breaking this one up now, Leon Slater on the back foot. Joe Wade, who we've seen as part of North Wrestling, Tidal Wrestling, trains alongside some of the best, sitting part of TGW as well, True Grit in York. And Leon Slater seems to be making headlines everywhere he goes. It's two and a half only, Leon Slater, who had an absolute five-star classic. Fuck you, Dave Meltzer with Speedball Mike Bailey, the X-Division champion of Impact Wrestling. Not that long ago, the entire wrestling world is talking about Leon Slater. And Joe Wade thinks, if I can beat Leon Slater, the world's gonna talk about me. And a kick to the back of the, 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 nearly the back of the neck of Leon Slater. Away from Rise, Ascent Tournament action, as we say. The return of Nina Samuels is on the cards tonight. First time back in Rise for nearly five years. And Slater back up already. The return of Leon Slater returning the favor with that kick to the back of the head. Make it two. So Nina Samuels in action tonight, and of course, our rise or die, no rope, barbed wire war. Either Danny O'Doherty leaves or Danny O'Doherty takes over rise. A horrifying prospect for our main event. As we see the young prospect in Joe Wade working over Leon Slater. This is exactly where Joe needs to be. Center of attention, center of the action, slowing it down. Because once Leon Slater gets his speed up, that's when he becomes a problem for his opponent. The hard Irish whip across the ring, Slater's back just crumbles into that corner. The Rise faithful who are in great voice tonight, coming alive for Leon Slater as Joe Wade Slowly works over Leon Slater. I'm on a cover. The winner of this tournament has a date with destiny. A date to face the Rise Heavyweight Champion. And that's not even a match you can think about right now because right now the champion is Danny O'Doherty. By the end of the night, he could be forfeiting that title. I've heard rumblings, I've heard rumblings that should Danny O'Doherty forfeit the Rise Championship tonight, should British top team lose the Rise Championship, should lose that main event and Darwin is forced to vacate the Rise Championship, I've heard rumblings backstage that the finals of the Ascent Tournament will be for the Rise title. So one of these two men could be one match away from becoming Rise Champion, could be two. Can't be thinking about that now, you've got to think about what's in front of you and right now, it is Joe Wade with that front face lock directly in front of Leon Slater. Joe Wade just grinding to take down Leon Slater with that headlock. I've really appreciated the, the, the strategy of Joe Wade here who has just slowly, methodically worn down Leon Slater. In the back, no doubt watching this one. The other half of our Rise Ascent Tournament bracket, Jet Marshall and Leon Slater. And look at that, like a bullet, shot out of a gun. Leon Slater just charges. At Joe Wade, he turns the tide. Shut Leon Slater. Just instant. Not even quick, he's instant. And round goes Slater and Wade. Spinning through Springboard. Just like that. Joe Wade. Joe Wade took his eye off the ball for a split second. And that was all that Leon Slater needed to make a sweet escape and get back 
into rhythm. But that back is hurting him. You saw it there. Leon Slate has had that back worked over by Joe Wade. That's going to hamper a lot of his offense here. Might be a mistake going for a back suplex. And Joe Wade once again. Once again. Whoa! Maybe not. The power of Leon Slater. But not strong enough to drop him all the way down. Back up again. Oh, and a boot to the head and a German suplex. Snapped into the corner. Hang time on that drop kick. And Joe Wade might be about to silence a lot of critics. Whoa. Change of plan, says Leon Slater. Dropping it with that spinning brain buster. What a battle these two have had. Leon Slater and Joe Wade, all eyes on them and all eyes on the Ascent Tournament. England's Maddest Wrestling Show well and truly back. How it will look by the end of the night? Well, that is down to Big Joe and the Deathmatch Outlaws. If they can turn away the challenge of Danny O'Doherty and British top team. How the company looks after tonight is up for debate, but we do know that the Ascent Tournament is looking stronger than ever. And one of these two is going to punch a ticket into the final. Swing and a miss. Oh, those knees buried deep into the into the chest of Leon Slater. Cover by Joe Wade, and it's oh, it's a two, just a two. Rise faithful behind Leon Slater, but there's been a, a ground smell of support for, for Joe Wade as well. You can hear it. It's great that so many have come out tonight to join us at the warehouse. And there's, there's love for everybody competing here, except Danny O'Doherty and British Top Twats. But Joe Wade is making some fans of his own tonight. Wade looking for a key moment. Could this be where Goth Boy... Stops Leon Slater's momentum! Talking of momentum! Slater took all of that speed from Joe Wade, turned it into a blue thunderbomb. Leon Slater chants echoing around the warehouse in Leeds, and oh, here, Leon Slater, who's finds himself near our, near our lighting rig. Oh, and look, he took a second too long. Leon Slater has a tendency to knock out the lights at venues like this, and that moment of stall gave Joe Wade an opening. Le Leon, Leon closed it immediately. Oh, wait, a roll-up, a roll-up by Joe. Roll-up by Liam. Leon and Joe exchanging. Small packages. Roll, victory roll. You don't need the top rope to ascend in rise as Leon Slater finds himself in the finals of the Ascent Tournament. A hell of a performance by Joe Wade, but hats off to the man that the entire wrestling world is talking about in Leon Slater. Could the youngest boss, could the youngest in charge be about to take charge of the Ascent Tournament and show respect between Joe and Leon Slater? Leon Slater punches his ticket to the finals of the Ascent Tournament.
Peter Samuel's show is back on our screens. Rise or Die continues with the return of a Rise original. Not seen Peter Samuel's in a Rise ring since 2018. Went to buy her trade as part of WWE's NXT UK. And now he's back on the independent scene and back at England's maddest wrestling show. Nina Samuels open challenge and oh the call is answered by the 21st century liability <laughs> Natalie Sykes has been Tearing it up here at Rice. And this could be the biggest test to date. You don't look familiar. I, I can't see we've met before. Who? Wait. No, no, no. I don't know. You've changed your hair, obviously, but I, I do recognise you. That's right. When I was last here, being a superstar, of course, you were here taking. Samuels was Natalie Sykes and Oh it's Samuels Here we go Natalie Sykes not gonna let that 
disrespect go untested. And yeah, Natalie Sykes was taking photos at Rise when Nina Samuels was here, but she has carved a path for herself in British wrestling ever since she's been part of Pro Wrestling Eve, British Wrestling Revolution, and she has been a cornerstone of the women's division here at England's Maddest Wrestling Show. This is a very different Natalie Sykes to the one that you met, Nina, back in 2018, as you are finding out now. And Natalie Sykes with a Fisherwoman suplex. Strong start that is absolutely flustered. Nina Samuels. Natalie Sykes isn't going to let her rest up and so oh, the Nina Samuels show cutting that commercial break short. Nina Samuels making friends and influencing people the moment she gets back onto the British independent wrestling team. Samuels adamant that she wants to make a, a strong comeback here at Rise. I mean, all that time spent as part of NXT UK, let's not forget who she is. She's a former pro wrestling EVE champion. She's competed not just in WWE, but she's competed all around the world as well. Across Europe and beyond there, she's been part of Progress Wrestling. She has carved out a path in the wrestling world in the last, in less than a decade. And now she's back on the UK independent circuit and wants to remind people to rise who she is. And she's going to do it at the behest of Natalie Sykes. Drop kick to the back of Natalie as well. Samuel's upset that Natalie wouldn't stay down. Firm support tonight for Natalie Sykes as Nina Samuels looks to break her down. Try to do it emotionally. Try to do it physically now. Nina with that sleeper hold locked in, but Natalie Sykes makes the ropes. Got to break that up. Still to come here tonight at England's Maddest Wrestling Show. Boy One faces Dara Diablo. A rivalry that has been bubbling for a long, long time. We'll come to a head shortly. The second of our Ascent Tournament semi-finals coming up. Next snap, perfect by Nina Samuels. And of course, our huge main event, it's British Top Team versus Big Joe's Deathmatch Outlaws. All or nothing in our main event, and Natalie Sykes giving it all against Nina Samuels now. Samuels, you can see the anger in her face that feels disrespected, feels slighted by Natalie Sykes. Leg drop. Just two and a half. Rise faithful, getting behind Natalie Sykes here. They'd love to see Sykes upset Nina Samuels. And oh, Nina go for that camera again. Let it go. Nina Samuels, like she never had a job before wrestling. She's no Tony Knox. Oh, talking to Knox. Schoolgirl. Oh, a chop across the chest. Natalie Sykes quickly turning this back round. Those screaming European uppercuts just pasting the face of Nina Samuels. Those kicks by Sykes. Hitting a little bit harder tonight. And low DDT. Lower to the ground, extra impact. It's two and a half. Just two and a half. And Natalie Sykes over Nina Sams would be one of the biggest wins in Natalie Sykes' career if she could put away Nina Samuels here. But she'd not. 
He's not Nina out. Is Nina out cold? Oh wait, it was a, it was a ruse, a roll up. Oh, it was just a two. Nina Samuels playing possum, and, and Sykes is playing rough. Neck breaker onto Nina Samuels, and now Natalie Sykes. Oh, just rolling back the years, taking a couple of pictures here at the warehouse in Leeds. Oh, but Nina Samuels. Oh, she tried to get one in, but got a headbutt for her trouble. Super kick by Sykes. Arm breaker, the cover. Big move by Natalie Sykes, and she knows it. She knows how close she came. The 21st century liability wants to be liable for Nina Samuel's first major loss on the independent circuit. Knees to the back from Nina. And that camera again. Oh, that's an expensive camera, Nina. I don't. I don't think that's a good idea. Those aren't cheap. The referee getting in there to stop Nina from using the camera as a, as a weapon. Great protection and some excellent camera equipment by the referee. Look at this, Nina's, Nina's taking the turnbuckle pad off. With the referee distracted, Nina's taking the turnbuckle pad off. Natalie Sykes shaking it off here. And the ref, oh my God, ref went to fix that turnbuckle pad. Nina cracked Natalie Sykes with the camera. Wasn't quite the Kodak moment that Natalie Sykes was looking for tonight, but Nina, delighted. A photo finish as the Nina Samuel Show gets rebooted here at Rise. Still to come, it's British top team. It's the Deathmatch Outlaws. We will either say goodbye to Dr. Leonardo Darwin, or we will call Dr. Leonardo Darwin boss. The stakes could not be higher in our main event of Rise or Die. Great showing for Natalie Sykes coming up in moments. It is Boy One and Dara Diablo with a score to settle here at the warehouse in Leeds at Rise or Die. Entered 
the warehouse. Where boy two goes, fan girl goes too. Boys to men. Fan girl already giving chase to boy two. This has been an ongoing issue. It has driven a wedge between boys to men, but. You've got to pass that for now because Boy One has a huge grudge match ahead of him here at Rise or Die. Former winner of the Rise Ascent Tournament, he's taken the fight to everybody and anybody here at Rise. And this could be one of the tougher challenges to date for Boy One. of British Wrestling. Yo, I like it. Yeah. I bet you do, man. Yeah. 
Challenged by boy one. Challenging Dara Diablo to a no disqualification match. One of British wrestling's most dangerous. We're getting it, no DQ. The challenge accepted by Dara Diablo. This I have to say, this plays into the wheelhouse of Dara Diablo, but you know what? If anybody can step up in someone else's wheelhouse, it's Boy One. Stunner to Diablo. This is Boy One, who went the distance in the Ascent Tournament. This is Boy One, who won a rumble in January of 2019 against the greatest in Rise history. The most decorated Rise Rumble in history was won by Boy One. And Boy One took the fight to Big Joe for the Rise Championship at that year's summer sesh. So Boy One is, he's won for playing in someone else's wheelhouse and right now he's in Dorothy Ablo's. Rise faithful 150% behind. Boy one, no disqualification. That also means no count out. Our referee is here simply to count the pinfalls or call the submission. Diablo picking up boy one. Trying to fight out of that headlock. And already making their way to the bar here at the warehouse in Leeds. A well stocked bar. We thank the warehouse staff for staying late with us. We apologize for the mess. Dara Diablo looking to leave a boy one shaped stain on the drip tray here at the warehouse at Rise or Die. Oh, this match ex expected to get out of hand, but just the beginning of things tonight. Still to come, that six man tag team no rope barbed wire war. It is Rise or Die in our main event between the British top team and the Deathmatch Outlaws. Boy one right now looking to go. Outlaw on Dara Diablo. Whoa, what's he doing? The boy wonder with a hurricane rider. Using the roof of the warehouse. The innovator of innovation, boy one. Finding his own groove in a no DQ match here at Rise or Die. Now boy two could get involved here. No DQ, and he is. There's boy two. Oh, and a strike from Dara Diablo. Fangirl over there, trying to save her beloved. Oh God. Here goes boy one! Dara Diablo turning that plancher into a world's strongest slam. Oh, Dara Diablo who fought in the mean streets of Hull. A wrestling competitor of decades. He's been in there with some of the roughest and the toughest. He's got the scars to prove it. Oh wait, oh fangirl. Fangirl in there, I mean, fair play to Fangirl protecting for the glory of love, and oh no! Dara Diablo does not discriminate hate. And Fangirl may be about to... Fangirl, come on. Oh my... Oh God! What was Dara gonna do? Thank God for point one. 
hasn't hasn't got the best of relationships with Fangirl, but recognises wrongdoing when look at her go! Look at Fangirl go! Get him, Fangirl! Boy one! Trying to get Fangirl out of there, and as a result of that is on the receiving end of those strikes from Dara Diablo. Oh, Fangirl is overstepping the mark here. I don't know how brave this is. Fangirl. Oh, no! Just missing. Look at this. It's a Guri. Teamwork by Boy One and Fangirl. Who the thunk it? Teamwork making the dream work there, and here's Boy One on the ascent here at Rise or Die. What's Fangirl doing? What? Triple H. Not the time to play games. Boy one knocked off the top by Fangirl, driven into the corner by Dara Diablo. Oh, Fangirl paid dividends for a short while, but the stock level just plummeted, as did Boy One's head. Pile driver by the regulator. It's a match that could have gone the way of boy one, but Fangirl sticking her oar in is both useful and costly. Oh, come on now, let her go. She's a fan. I don't care what she's done. She's still a fan. Diablo in a foul mood. No doubt, boy one will be two.
Friday night in Sheffield and one impressive talent Ellis Barker was shocked to find out that the Ascent tournament was starting early. Go big opportunity for Ellis, he's going to be the main event tonight wrestling Liam in the Ascent tournament.
hell of a performance, but it was not enough to defeat the defending Ascent Tournament champion and his teacher, Liam Slater. It's the best professional wrestler in rise. The reigning Ascent Tournament champion seems to be two-time Ascent Tournament champion, Liam Slater, number one in professional wrestling. Modern professional wrestler. And facing the post one pro wrestler tonight, his opponent, Jet Marshall. It's been for Jet Marshall. Last night, just up the road at North Wrestling, he was a last minute substitution in the opening contest. His opponent from the US, Warhorse. Arguably the biggest match to date for Jet Marshall was less than 24 hours ago. And now he is in the Ascent Tournament semi final. Over the way from Jet Marshall, somebody else who was in action last night in Newcastle. Liam Slater, the reigning North Heavyweight Champion, successfully defended that title against Impact Wrestling's Joe Hentry. But we put all of that to the side because tonight the eyes of the British wrestling world are on Rise or Die and the Ascent Tournament star-making, career-breaking Ascent Tournament. We know that Leon Slater has punched his ticket to the final. He will meet one of these two men when they get there. The Rise Championship, quite the talking point tonight. Dr. Leonardo Darwin currently holds that title, but should the Deathmatch Outlaws win our main event tonight, then British top team and Leonardo Darwin are done in Rise. Darwin must retire and Darwin must forfeit the Rise Championship. Now I bring this up because the winner of the Ascent Tournament gets a Rise Championship opportunity down the road. And I have heard rumblings from Rise management from the, from the office of Danny O'Doherty, and I'm speaking unofficially here, that should Dr. Leonardo Darwin retire tonight, the winner of this match will go on to face Leon Slater, not only in the Ascent Tournament Final, but the Ascent Tournament Final for the Rise Championship. That final of this tournament, once again, for the second time in its career, for the second time in its lineage, becomes a Rise Championship Tournament match. But that all depends on how our main event of Rise or Die goes. A six-man tag team, Rise or Die, barbed wire war between the Deathmatch Outlaws and the British top team. Right now, the Ascent Tournament. A 15 minute time limit on our Ascent Tournament matches. They've got to be quick, they've got to be impactful, and nobody does quick and impactful like Jet Marshall. But he is in there against one of British wrestling's favorite sons. A grafter of a professional wrestler. 
who took some time away from the scene to refocus, to recalibrate. And I genuinely think that Liam Slater is the best he has ever been. Nobody has that ground and pound for Jet Marshall. Shutting me and the doubters up as he sends Liam Slater to the outside. Jet Marshall's going to be one of these ones to watch on the British wrestling circuit and he could very much have eyes on him if he wins the Ascent tournament. He's two wins away from it. Liam Slater back in the ring, taking it steady. And those strikes from Jet Marshall. Rocking Liam Slater. We talk about the Ascent Tournament as well. Jet striking Liam Slater. One thing we've not mentioned is Liam Slater's been here before. Liam Slater back in 2021 won the whole Ascent Tournament to earn his job back here at Rise. And Jet Marshall looking to stop him from repeating. Jet Marshall would love to be spoiler to stop Liam Slater becoming a two-time Ascent Tournament winner. He's on course to doing that now with Ascent on. It's two and a half for Jet Marshall. And the caveat here is as well, Jet Marshall trained by Liam Slater. Let's not lose sight of that part of the story as well. And Liam Slater, proving that he's taught Jet everything he knows, but not everything that he knows. Double backbreaker bombs from Liam Slater. It's two only. Slater channeling that spirit that drove him through last year's Ascent tournaments. Channeling that energy that brought him back from the brink and got him his job back at Rise. And another, another huge backbreaker. Slater becoming a backbreaker specialist against Jet Marshall. Slater just pulling away, pulling on the on the face and the teeth, and now working over the arms of Jet Marshall. Variation on a cattle mutilation, grounding Jet on the smoothness of Liam Slater wraps him up again and cradles for a two count only. Phenomenal Matt Wrestling by Liam Slater, but we'd expect nothing less. At the conclusion of this Ascent Tournament match, a grudge match for the ages. The comedian Nathan Black about to put his money where his mouth is. We're gonna see if his mouth can write the checks that his ass has been cashing. He's gonna face B.A. Rose. Black and Rose coming up after this Ascent Tournament semi-final match. Jet Marshall holding that leg and Liam Slater's worn it down. Great strategy by Liam Slater, who has just worked over that leg. He wants to bring Jet Marshall to the ground. Keep him there, because once Jet Marshall gets the, gets the motor running, then Liam Slater has a problem. Slater now, playing this match exactly at his speed. Across the ring goes Jet. Liam Slater is, he's a, as he says he is, he's a post-modern professional wrestler. He's aware of the factors in this one. The fact that he wants to win the Ascent Tournament for a second year running. And he wants, oh! And he's in there with his, with his trainee who just spat in his, at his chest. And that's just lit a fire under Liam Slater. 
Not a great move by the infamous Jet Marshall. Marshall now moving. Jet Marshall kicking this match into high gear. Swinging it. Oh, and a boot by Marshall. And now Jet looking to take off. Oh my god, he sticks the landing. And Slater might be out. The cover. Just two and a half, Jet Marshall. Half a second away from punching his ticket to the finals of the Ascent Tournament. And cap it off, one of the biggest weekends in his wrestling career. Slater with a bomb to counter the drop kick. Turns it round, hooks him up. Oh, power bomb with the cover. Expertly executed, you could say excellently executed, by Liam Slater, who has been a force of nature in this match. And now Slater, completely in control. Marshall fighting from underneath. Chops to the chest, headbutt to the arm. Slater rings him through, packages him up, and delivers. A power bomb! Oh wow! Closest call of the night. 2.99 recurring. And now Slater takes it old school for the single leg crab and Marshall. He knows this one oh so well. Maybe Slater made a mistake. A rare, rare, rare mistake by Liam Slater to call the move before applying it effectively. Liam Slater calling the single leg before he'd nailed it. Big boot by Jet Marshall. Rolls Slater through. Look at the speed of Marshall. With that roaring uppercut. Two and a half for Jet. Maybe thinking once more to the breach, once more. Double stops to Slater. Marshall is instant. Not even quick, he's instant. We could be looking at a Jet Marshall Liam Slater final if Slater falls victim to one more big Jet Marshall move. Could be looking for it here. He's going to plant Liam Slater head first. En route to the finals of the Ascent Tournament. Slater powers through. Hooks him up. Package. Pile driver. Old school to the new school. Jet Marshall. And great strategy by Jet Marshall. Talk well by Liam Slater. Rolls out of the ring, stops Liam making the cover. I mean, a count, will Liam take a count out? No, he won't. No, he won't. He wants to decisively beat Jet Marshall. Back in the ring comes Liam and Jet. Jet Marshall, Jet's gonna fly! Cannonball through the ropes! Did Liam Slater have taken the count out? I don't think it's in his nature to take a count out win. Marshall, back in the ring now. Looking to drive Slater's head into the dirt, and Slater says, no! Pile driver! The cover! Slater does it! Here is your winner! Liam Slater! After a career defining 2021, Liam Slater finds him back in familiar territory. One match away from becoming the Ascent Tournament winner for a second year on the bounce. Hats off to Jet Marshall, a phenomenal performance.
against a post-modern professional wrestler, but it'll be Liam Slater. Slater versus Slater will be our finals of the Ascent Tournament. And nothing but respect from Liam Slater to Jet Marshall. Ascent Tournament bringing out the best in people. Is BA Rose about to bring out some bruises on the body of Nathan Black? It is no laughing matter when the comedian faces the monster at Rise or Die next. Is. When you look at that, my goodness, goody gum drops. It is finally the week of the fight. But pause, let's go back a second. You know, for months, I have been embarrassing the old Rosebuds. I think it's only fair that we get to hear his response. So I present to you B.A. Rose. <laughs> oh dear. Well, fancy that. Nothing to say, because he's got string two fucking sentences together. Because you know, he knows B.A. Rose, he knows. The king of balloony buffoony, the master of the marshmallow men. You know that I only speak the truth, and you know you can't out wrestle me. You're crazy, man. I mean, for one, just look at the goddamn size of me, eh? I mean, I'll tell you what, BA Rose, you fall downstairs better than the average bin man. But stairs don't fight back. So I ask you one final time are you sure you want to do this? You think this wise boy? Well, all right then. Grab that cheap Halloween mask your mama's apron, and for God's sake, get some goddamn deodorant. Because this Sunday, I'm gonna beat the ever shit out of you. Until then, get the fuck out of my gym, because I'm dancing to the king, baby. Maddest wrestling show for the past for the past few months. It feels like a lifetime, to be honest with you. Tonight he faces BA Rose, not in a hardcore match, not a death match, not even an ODQ street fight. No. Nathan Black has requested that this be a straight singles technical wrestling match. BA has agreed. Politics are all in to see right some of this glass smashing garbage. Let me show you.
people by Nathan Black. <laughs> Question about whose whose side the Rise faithful are on. Rise or die. How fitting for Nathan Black, who is who has spent all these months taunting the deathmatch contingent. Of rice. And now his mouth is about to attempt to write some checks that his ass has been cashing. It's maybe the toughest crowd that the comedians played. Headlocks and heckling, and probably a lot more in his future. But right now, look at this arm ringer to BA Rose. I think B.A. Rose, the last ever hardcore champion. We've seen B.A. Rose in some absolute wars over the years here at Rise. Part of the Games of Death tournament a few years back. A constant within the former hardcore division. Very little, if anything, could stop the pro wrestling bollard that is B.A. Rose. B.A. Rose trying to, is he, he's going to wrestle Nathan Black on this occasion. Headlocks and arm ringers. The side of B.A. Rose we're not massively familiar with. Very different proposition for Nathan Black tonight. This isn't Stephen the wrestler, nor is it Peter the vegan. Nathan's hand-picked opponents from earlier in the year. This is a, a tried and true Rise superstar in B.A. Rose. A technical showcase so far. This was, I don't think this is even what Nathan Black was, suggest, was, 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 was thinking could happen. A suggestion of submission styling from B.A. Rose. Collar and elbow again. B.A. Rose wearing down Nathan Black with that headlock. Coming up after this showdown, it is a showdown that will change the shape of Rise Wrestling. The Deathmatch Outlaws and British Top Team. Rise or die, no ropes, barbed wire. A war that will change the fate of Rise. As Nathan Black changes the posture of B.A. Rose. Twists him into that headlock. Round he goes. Oh, shoulder block. That firm vertical bait of B.A. Rose not being rocked. Rose rolls through. A huge spine buster. Put a bit of stank on it. It's a one though. A wrestling match between B.A. Rose and Nathan Black. As requested by Nathan Black, a traditional pro wrestling match. And I think that Nathan Black is very surprised by how 
VA Rose is competing in this environment. Nathan Black has been making a lot of friends here at Rise. Black is rattled. Black was thinking he'd walk it if this is a traditional wrestling match. Happy to disappoint you, Nathan Black. Look at that. Black sends P.A. Rose out of the ring and Rose is oh, back in very quickly. Oh, it's a, it's a Greco-Roman nose bite. Now that's still traditional. That's still traditional. I believe it's how Luthez won his 15th Heritage Championship. My wrestling history has anything to, to, to tell me. Pop handle slam and a cent on. Nathan Black spent but not out. Two count only. So far, so good for B.A. Rose. It's been a, as Nathan Black requested, a, a traditional wrestling match. That's okay. A, a open part, a close fist strike there. Otherwise, it's been pretty technical, pretty traditional. B.A. Rose and Nathan Black have a 10 count to get back into the ring. I mean, it's rare just to see the rules like adhered to in such a way here at Rise. Oh, and Black uses the turnbuckle post, driving B.A. Rose's head into the metal. Black just relieved to be, and drops him onto the hardest part of the ring. Oh, suddenly Nathan Black. Hey, Nathan, you're the one that wanted a traditional wrestling match. What's with the chair? Black arm with a steel chair. That's a DQ if he uses it. Nathan Black avoided getting too hardcore in this match. Back in the ring with a headlock. Big scoop slam by Nathan Black. Surely the comedian is having a laugh himself if he thinks that's going to keep B.A. Rose down. Elbow to the back. B.A. Rose has been out of control of this match since his head was driven into that turnbuckle post. Nathan Black, who adheres to like the rules of it being a traditional match, I could beat you in a traditional wrestling match, and it took the post to turn the tide in this one, and now he's got his fingers deeply fish hooked in the mouth of B.A. Rose. Yank it all the way back on the hair now, it's a hair pull by Nathan Black. Oh, it's one rule for Nathan, it's another for everyone else. I want a traditional wrestling match, but also, I want to pull the guy's hair. B.A. Rose back to his feet! Slaps the taste out of Nathan Black's mouth! Strikes to the gut! Nathan Black now hooks him up! Back suplex, perfectly executed. Whether you like the guy or not, it was on the money. But it's only two and a half. I mean, Nathan Black has, has really, really held his own throughout this one. He's got B.A. Rose literally and metaphorically on the ropes at this point at Rise or Die. I'm just 
suplex perfectly landed by Nathan Black. Confident it'll get the job done, but I don't think a suplex has been a finish since 1962. Just, just saying, Nathan Black. I know you've been out of the game for a while. I'm just saying. Nathan Black and B.A. Rose in the center of a rise ring after this match. Those ropes will come down. And barbed wire will remain. Our main event still to come. And B.A. Rose with, a, with fight still to come as well. Suplex turns the tide. If Nathan Black had spent a little less time insulting people's manhoods, he could have spent a bit more time putting away B.A. Rose. I'm just saying. Rise faithful in the corner of B.A. Rose, the last ever hardcore champion in unfamiliar territory, but striving and surviving. Close line, make it two. We're in the warehouse, let's make it a treble. Hooks him up. Rolling Samoan drop. Onto Brett's rope for B.A. Rose. Big senton. The big man came crashing down and it hurt inside and rope break. Traditional wrestling rules, that is a rope break. Ring awareness by Nathan Black, that is indeed. That will indeed stop the three count and back in we go. Enjoy every bit of professional wrestling in this traditional match because after this, I think we're going to see more hammer shots than headlocks in our main event. The rise or die, no rope barbed wire war coming up soon. But now, Nathan Black driving B.A. Rose's head into the turnbuckle. And a huge forward slam. That going to be enough? Absolutely not. Nathan Black, did you hear him? Please, please let this be enough. Nathan Black is spent in this traditional pro wrestling match. More than a trace of arrogance from Nathan Black, who thought he would outwit and outmaneuver B.A. Rose in this particular rule set, and that has not been the case. Nathan Black, what are we thinking? STO maybe, flatliner maybe. That flatline is flatlined because B.A. Rose is striking with those elbows. Nathan Black now. He's trying to pull in B.A. Rose. B.A. Rose certainly has the weight advantage over Nathan Black. And Rose on the apron, what's, what's Rose thinking? It's not gonna be pretty, whatever it is. It ain't hard to fall when you float like a cannonball. Nathan Black may be unconscious. His head hit the, hit the floor. That ain't protected matting either. That's the cold, hard, unforgiving, slightly sticky floor of the warehouse in Leeds. Dreams have been broken and drinks have been spilt on that floor. Nathan Black may be about to have his dreams shattered. Putting away B.A. Rose in a traditional wrestling match. Nathan Black tried no mass, and B.A. Rose said cannonball. Just a two again. Nathan Black, as pathetic as he is, he's resilient. Constantly getting that shoulder off the mat, avoiding the three count. A 
B.A. Rose has got to be thinking. That double underhook driver that took him to the last hardcore championship. Black rolls through. Oh no! Nathan Black pulled the referee in. Oh, the low blow. Nathan Black. Who wanted a traditional wrestling match? Throwing out the rule book against B.A. Rose. The downward spiral. Nathan Black flatlines B.A. Rose. There's no referee. Nathan, oh wait, the, the light tubes that Nathan Black brought with him to, to mock the Rise Faithful. He's going to strike B.A. Rose with the light tubes after everything he said about deathmatch wrestling. out Nathan Black you're about to see your name in lights pal still a traditional wrestling match the ref stepping in is the right thing to do to DQ if he uses them oh Quote Barry from EastEnders, we're going to do it anyway! He didn't get the winner's share of the money, but he got his pound of flesh from Nathan Black! B.A. Rose! Shattering! Those light tubes over Nathan Black's head. And look at the blood on the back of Nathan Black. What a punchline in our traditional wrestling match. The best comedy subversive, I'll give you that. It's subverted a traditional wrestling match and ended with a light tube shot. Nathan Black undefeated, but he's going to celebrate that undefeated win. He can fix a light tube out of his back for the next week. Rise or die, main event coming up in mere moments. No laughing matter in our main event. Coming up next, rise or die. It is British top team versus the Deathmatch Outlaws. Either Dr. Leonardo Darwin leaves forever or he takes over rise. It is a match that will change the shape of England's maddest wrestling show. And it is next at rise or die. This building is considered by many to be the greatest building, maybe not just in England, but on earth. Over the last 150 years, this has seen some of the greatest acts in the history of humanity. In 1933, Albert Einstein spoke, shut the fuck up you pigs. In 1933, Albert Einstein spoke here on world peace. The great Sir Winston Churchill on 16 occasions had speeches here that changed generations. The greatest musical acts in the history of our planet, Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, Pavarotti have all performed here, but they were all eclipsed in June 2018 when for the very first time NXT UK came to the Royal Albert Hall. 
And I'm going to tell you something about NXT UK. I'm going to tell you a little story about my life. This is true because a lot of people say to me, Darwin, you're so good, but you're wasted. You've got so much potential, but you're only at an independent level. Your mind is too good not to be used at a higher stage. Your promos are too good. You're the best promo in England. And for once in my life, I'm going to be courteous and humbled and say thank you very much. But at the same time, don't you think how I am aware how fucking good I am? So let me tell you what happened just before COVID. I was in communication with the WWE. I even met face to face, and by the way, hand on heart, may I be struck down with cancer if I'm lying about this. I met William Regal face to face. And because I am compelled to tell the truth, I said to Regal, if you're looking somebody to be another work rate in ring technician, then I'm okay in the ring. I can have a main event match for half an hour, no problem. But I can't do four flips off the top rope, land on my feet, so on and so forth. And he said, to be honest with you, we have too many wrestlers that have work rate, not enough wrestlers that are captivating, that are characters, that are larger than life. That when you walk down the street, the average individual will turn their head and wonder who that person is. We have boys that look like they work in computer exchange. Well, he didn't say that, but the rest he did. So we were moving forward and then a couple of months later, a tentative offer was presented to me. And I'm saying this with all due respect. I'm just telling you how it is. I'm trying to give you an insight into my life. The offer that, that was presented to me for a monthly salary as a professional actor, equity and spotlight registered FYI, one of only four British wrestlers in the UK have done so, but I could earn in a day on a commercial what in a month I would earn for NXT UK. So I said, WWE, thank you. I, I appreciate the offer, but I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And I went away and then we moved on. And then here we are today. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Patrick Sutty. Welcome to a very special two-part interview where I'm gonna be sitting down with the entire Ike family. I'm I have been compelled to speak my truth. As a result, I've gained a following in the alternative media. So much so, two months ago, I interviewed leading critical thinker David Ike in a castle. I have my own show that's in post-production. It's fair to say I have transcended professional wrestling. In professional wrestling, I am a hill when paradoxically the opposite is true. I am the greatest baby face that's lived in the last 100 years, but we're living an inversion. You know. oh, thank you. No worries. Thank you, you know. Thank Thanks. you, yeah. No worries, take care. Number one hero. Number, Number one, one hero, hero. there you yeah. go. Thank you very much. So my proposal, Dan, is a simple one. If I'm gonna put my retirement as a stipulation in a match on the line, and I'm gonna vacate this championship as well if I am losing, then I want the ownership of Rise Underground Professional Wrestling. Because if I stay in this industry, the only thing worthwhile for me is help a promotion climb to the next level. I am a businessman, I have a degree in business, I'm a former investment broker within the commodities market. I understand how to speak to clients. Danny O'Doherty walks in stinking a piss and he can't even look him in the eye because he's too stoned. And then they wonder why they will not want to use Rise on a show moving forward. They see me, they're gonna get wetter than an otter's pocket. They're gonna squirt like a squid. And that's why, Dan, if you've got the balls, I'm making the, the stipulation of all stipulations, the British top team versus the Mud Show Outlaws. If the Outlaws win, I will vacate the championship and I will retire. But if British top team win, then I become the promoter and owner of Rise Underground Professional Wrestling. What do you say, Dan? It's more than do or die. This is Rise or Die. Let's take it to Danny O'Doherty for the introductions and the rules. Here we go. I have been given before and from the death march out. of 2015 that the underground 
emerged the violence party at the Temple Works in Leeds. All these years on, and the shape, the face, the future of Rise Wrestling hangs in the balance. It all comes down to this match. Six of the toughest in the history of Rise will put it on the line to change the shape of Rise Wrestling forever. Everybody is in position and we are ready to go. That was an appropriate song just playing there when worlds collide. There's two worlds are just about to collide right now. British top team versus the Deathmatch Outlaws. So let's bring out our first team. And I'll just like to explain that in this match, two wrestlers will start from each team. And every four minutes, another entrant will enter this normal barbed wire wall. And it will be one fall or one submission to the finish. Let's bring out our first team. A tense night for that man, Danny O'Doherty, whose company hangs in the balance of this match. His future's uncertain. He's putting all his chips on the Deathmatch Outlaws. Fitting that one of the most committed of the Rise Faithful leads the Deathmatch Outlaws to the ring. I can't think of a more fitting triple threat to carry the flag of Rise in this pivotal match in the colours of the Juggalo. Big fucking Joe, Danny Darko, and Mickey Deathmatch Michael Caden. have been in wars against each other tonight they combine their forces for the good of rise underground and if one of these men will start the match one of these three will start the match they will enter in intervals, pinfall or submission to win the whole thing. Once all six have entered. Oh, what a statement by the Deathmatch Outlaws, the team captain, getting in there first. Number one. As we see it. of the Games of Death, a multi-time Rise Champion and an international hardcore sensation. He will lead the charge against British top team. Fuck him up, Big Joe. Fuck him up.
Bernardo Darwin and what could be his final walk to a Rise Wrestling Ring. I'd assume that this means that Dr. Leonardo Darwin is going to start for British Top Team. Similar strategy to the Deathmatch Outlaws, bringing your captain out first. Everything on the line for Dr. Leonardo Darwin. If he wins this match tonight, he takes control of Rise. If he loses, he is done. And that title the Rise Heavyweight Championship of the World. That is vacated. He's gone. And we'll have to crown a new champion. Everything is on the line here. Whichever way this match goes, the future of Rise Wrestling is on the line. Whichever way this match goes, Rise Wrestling will never be the same again. But just like in video games, there is a good ending and a bad ending. I'm not one to be biased, but I can't help but thinking that Dr. Leonardo Darwin winning, that's, that's the bad fucking ending. Dr. Leonardo Darwin running rise is a horrific thought for many in that locker room. Certainly for Danny O'Doherty, who just had to announce... Just again there had to announce Dr. Leonardo Darwin to the ring. How fitting is this though? How fitting is this? With these two, with their history throughout the years of Rise, both part of our first ever Rise show. The European Deathmatch Champion and Leonardo Darwin, the Rise Champion. This match and in four minutes there will be the next entrance. Are we ready to start this match? This match is set for one fall. One fall. When I say one fall, you say Scott Bell, when you're ready, let's ring the bell. Big Joe and Dr. Leonardo Darwin have had some wars over the years here at Rise. They were good friends, they're better enemies. But this may be, no, will be the most important battle in their storied career. Big Joe and Dr. Leonardo Darwin, when you write the book of Rise Wrestling, these two are on the cover. And Big Joe has the opportunity tonight to lance the boil from the body of Rise and take out Dr. Leonardo Darwin and British top team for good. Do not for a single second as we get underway. And Big Joe with those strikes. Do not for a single second underestimate Dr. Leonardo Darwin in a match like this. There is no wrestler more cerebral, more cunning, more planning, more devious than Dr. Leonardo Darwin. Do not trust him as far as you can throw him. And trust me, Big Joe can throw him very fucking far. Big Joe trying to throw him into the barbed wire and oh! Both men trying to assist the other in meeting the ropes. Well, no ropes, meeting what replaces the ropes in this deathmatch war. Oh no, first blood drawn by Darwin. And that is, that is not good blood to draw. Barbed wire in a, a very inappropriate place for Big Joe. European Deathmatch Champion has felt worse, that's for sure. He's gonna push through it. Big Joe, who has taken his own unique brand of wrestling violence across the Atlantic and beyond. Tonight, he's home. He's in the north of England. Whoa, look at this. Is 
Darwin biting! Oh God! Dr. Leonardo Darwin biting down on Big Joe! Joe's gonna need a tetanus after this! Leg drop, and this is where Big Joe is gonna be targeted by Darwin! All of a sudden, Darwin has turned the tide in this one. This match, every bit a war of attrition. Because there'll be no pinfall or submission attempts. What? Across the back with that water cooler bottle. Jesus! Darwin smashed it in half and he took out some light tubes. There'll be no pinfalls, no submissions until all six men are in this match. It is every bit a war of attrition for Dr. Leonardo Darwin and Big Joe. It's about surviving long enough to get some backup. Suplex by Dr. Leonardo Darwin. A black belt in kickboxing and the reigning Rise Champion. Kickboxing is an incredible martial arts skill to have. How useful it's going to be when you're surrounded by light tubes and barbed wire, I guess we're going to find out. Waiting in the wings for British top team. K1 MMA champion, Brett Semtex. And the Jordy Judas MMA fighter, Lou Nixon. DDT by Big Joe. Countdown is on. And our second entrance into the Rise or Die match. The draw is not in the favor of the Deathmatch Outlaws. I was terrified that this would be the case. This means that a fresh Big Lou Nixon is gonna stand with Dr. Leonardo Darwin. It's gonna be two on one against Big Joe. Oh, and Joe swinging for the fences. Lou Nixon, who has absolutely turned his back on all of his moral fiber, all his moral code to side with Dr. Darwin. It's like a Newcastle United fan becoming a Sunderland fan. It just, it doesn't happen without a beating. British top team are gonna control this match for the next four minutes. It is two on one. It is a handicap match. And it is bad times for Big Joe. Him and Lou Nixon have had some wars over the years as well. These two have found each other in the games of death. And on an even playing field, Lou Nixon has given Big Joe a run for his money, but he's got Dr. Leonardo Darwin in there now as well. And there's that kickboxing. I asked whether or not it would be effective in a match like this. I guess it is. Darwin and Lou like a pack of wolves. He's beating down Big Joe. Oh, this is not the way that Big Joe hoped that this match would go so early on to be on the defensive. But there is an intangible here tonight at the warehouse. Big Joe's got a tag team partner. The Deathmatch Outlaws have a fourth person, and that is the Rise Faithful surrounding the ring. And Big Joe has got to draw upon that. Across the head of Joe. Oh, this is just a slow mugging now. And there you hear the Rise Faithful chanting for Rise. Trying to get Big Joe quite literally to Rise. And Lou, Joe ducks. And Darwin is down. 
Here comes Big Fucking Joe! Dropping Lou Nixon! And Big Joe gets a respite here! Miscalculation by Lou Nixon has wiped out Dr. Leonardo Darwin! Oh, but Lou quickly back into the fray here, wearing down Big Joe. Darwin back to his feet already. And that tiny, that tiny window of opportunity for Big Joe has all but closed. Rise Faithful getting under the skin of Lou Nixon, Light Tube Lou, who sold his morals down the river to team with Dr. Leonardo Darwin. A light tube to the chest of Big Joe. This is just an all out mugging. Bleeding from the ear now, Big Joe. Bleeding from the arm. Bleeding from multiple places. And this has just been an all out decimation of one of Rise Wrestling's most decorated stars but the bell is about to toll and big fucking joe is getting some backup but light but fight danny darko evens the odds a fresh danny darko the bud light king Multiple time rise, hardcore champion. A tag team partner of Big Fucking Joe. And tonight, carrying Rise Wrestling on his shoulders, roaring clothesline. A King Kong Lariat, but there's no pinfalls yet, Danny. No pinfalls until everyone is in the match. That Lariat just wiped out Darko, though. Big Joe picks up Darko. And look at this! The Deathmatch Outlaws, a well-oiled unit. Looking to shut down that snake oil salesman, Dr. Leonardo Darwin. Absolute carnage. And we are barely, barely halfway through. The arrival of Danny Darko has given Big Joe some life here. And look at the sword across the head. I mean, good luck if you if you cut his head off. If you cut the head open like that, considering what he's been doing lately, I don't think you'll find a brain in there. Oh! And once again, a rise match ends up on Pornhub. Cheers, Danny. Lemons. We've got lemons in these open cuts. He's being pelted with lemons. You might think that's a weird weapon. Are they having cocktails? I, I challenge you to get some lemon in an open cut. See how you like it. Oh, we've got salt. We've got salt. Salt in the cuts, salt in the wound, literally and metaphorically for Dr. Leonardo Darwin. Big Joe on the outside. Whatever the fuck that is, it looks painful. The creative energy of destructive Rise fans, unfucking paralleled.
Big Joe hurling abuse at Lou Nixon. Oh, look at this. And Dr. Leonardo Darwin hosts Steel or No Deal on TV in another country, and that's no deal. You don't need to call the banker to know that that deal sucks for Leonardo Darwin. No idea who Patrick Sutty was, though. Danny Darko and Big Joe, the Deathmatch Outlaws, are running the show now. And Darwin may be about to say goodbye to Baby Darwin. Evolution will not be kind to Dr. Leonardo Darwin. driving that light tube into the head of Danny Darko. Oh, the count is on. And this means that the tide may very well turn again. We know the British top team have the advantage. Your next entries represent the British top team. It's the Two-weight K1 MMA champion. We've seen Brett Semtex down the road and BWR proving that he is a multi-talented, multi-athlete sensation. Dropping German suplexes and T-bones like they're going out of fashion. Semtex is one of those phenoms that has burst onto the wrestling scene. It's a shame he makes terrible fucking business decisions and he's teamed up with Dr. Leonardo Darwin. And now the entirety of British top team are in this match and Brett Semtex has absolutely turned the tide. Semtex has Danny Darker all the way up. Wait, Angel, onto the steel chair, wrapped in barbed wire. Brett, stop the match, have mercy. Oh, wow, Brett Semtex, a force of nature in this barbed wire war. Like a lifeboat for British top team, Brett Semtex has turned this around on his own. This is the, the challenge of a, of a match like this, with these staggered entrances. If you are the team that comes on the short end of the coin toss, you're out of luck because every time you're gonna gather that momentum, all of a sudden that bell's gonna sound, someone else from the opposing team's coming down, and you have to rebuild. And right now, British top team have rebuilt and reclaimed this death match for all the marbles. Lou Nixon suddenly with a swagger in his step. The Geordie Judas taking great pleasure in being back on top on British top team. Semtex under the watchful eye of Dr. Leonardo Darwin in the ring as Lou Nixon and Danny Darko fight outside it. Light shoot to the head of Big Joe just now and now driving glass into the face of Joe. Action all across the building here. Lou Nixon and Danny Darko fighting at the bar, making their way back now. And Semtex and Darwin doing a number on Big Joe who has taken a beating throughout this match. Brett Semtex, the freshest man of the fight, armed with a steel chair. Semtex is a weapon in himself, let alone without a steel chair. Lou Nixon and Darwin just taking it in turns to tee off on Big Joe. As Semtex just paces the ring like the bouncer at a nightclub. 
Your name's not down, you're not coming in. Darwin choking out Big Joe. This has become all British top team now. Darwin trying to get in there to save Joe, and he's immediately shut down by those strikes, those K1 strikes. This is just becoming mugging. The very future of Rise Wrestling could look like this. These three standing tall, but we are far from done. We have one man left to enter. And when that timer counts down, it's time to fight. Deathmatch stares at the abyss and smiles back. Mickey Deathmatch, Mickey Sad Boy, Mickey Hardcore, whatever you want to call him, Mickey T Side, Michael Caden. The final line of defense for Rise Wrestling, and he is kicking the shit out of British top team. Danny O'Doherty's made it to ringside for this one. Michael Caden, a welcome support for the Deathmatch Outlaws. Is Michael Caden going to be enough to turn the tide once more? Renewed energy from Big Joe and Danny Darko as Michael Caden enters the fray. All of a sudden, Michael Caden, Danny Darko and Big Joe are on top of the world. Oh, these three, this triumvirate, who have been to war against each other on multiple occasions here at Rise. They have earned the respect of one another and tonight they stand together for Rise Wrestling. Outlaws want to keep Rise out of the grubby mitts of Dr. Leonardo Darwin. And battle lines have been drawn. All six in the match now. One fall to a finish. The Rise or Die match can truly begin. It's all or nothing. It's rise or die, and here we fucking go! And the fight is on for the future of rise! The Deathmatch Outlaws, British top team, giving it their all! We are one pinfall away from either saying goodbye to Dr. Darwin or calling Dr. Darwin boss. Lou Nixon teeing off on, Do on Danny Darko. Michael Caden knocking down Darwin. Big Joe and Brett Semtex at war across the ring. Caden taking down Darwin. Clubbing blows to the back. Caden, the freshest man in the fight so far. But Darwin takes some of the freshness off. Barbed wire into the back. Oh, we've seen Darwin and Michael Caden having some wars in their own rights as well. All six of these men have history tied into each other. And Darwin, the pair of scissors. Darwin gonna, it's Darwin thinking with the scissors. Oh, it's 
Darwin gonna stab Michael Caden with the scissors? Oh God! Oh God! Oh, this is disgusting! Oh, he's got a needle on his tongue! I hope that needle was tested rigorously over 12 months! Needle on the tongue of Michael Caden! As Danny Darko's getting the beers in! Joe fighting back against Brett Semtex, who wants to put him through that barbed wire board. Joe says no. Up you go, Brett. Down you go, Darwin. And down you go, Brett. Semtex driven through the barbed wire. Darwin tied up in the barbed wire. And Lou Nixon all of a sudden realizes his teammates are down. Nixon and Danny Darko in the ring and Lou with that choke on the back of Danny Darko and whoa holy shit Darko puts his body on the line meanwhile Mickey's getting tight Mickey's getting taped up outside the ring Danny O'Doherty looking on very concerned. His livelihood, his baby, prize wrestling. It's all up for grabs here and he can't do anything about it. The Deathmatch Outlaws and British top team tearing it apart and Joe as you see there bringing on even more carnage in a bob barbed wire table. The rise faithful, like, like, like a twisted blue pizza. Here's what I made earlier. Big Joe and Darwin finding each other once again, as they have done for years here at Rise. These two once again, spear by Darwin. Oh, Joe kicking out at two. The wars that these two have been in over the years here at Rise. And now Dr. Leonardo Darwin and Big Joe finding each other again as Danny Darko and Lou Nixon recover outside the ring. Here comes Big Joe. Darwin's Darwin's guts meeting the barbed wire. And now a chair to the head. Rattling the brain. Caden with a dive. Everybody's down outside the ring. And big fucking Joe is up. Inviting Darko to get to his feet. Here comes Joe. Tombstone on the chair. What? How did Darwin kick out? How did Darwin kick out? Is Darwin hulking up? Are you shitting me? A leg drop! This end WrestleMania, Darwin! Joe's got the throat of Darwin now! 
Oh wait, Brett Semtex, out of nowhere. Semtex with Big Joe on his shoulders. And F5 through the light tubes. Brett Semtex just wiped out Big Joe. Off of Big Joe, after that F5 through the light tubes. And Michael Caden staggers back into the ring. He goes for it, but Caden gets taken down by Darwin. Armbar by, armbar by Darwin. Cross face by Darwin. Oh, and Caden's got nowhere to go. Fight it, Caden. Fight it, Caden. Danny pleading. Oh, and Lou, Lou Nixon holds Danny Doherty. And now Brett Semtex with an ankle lock on Caden. Don't tap, Caden. Don't tap, Mickey. Don't tap the barbed wire in the mouth. Don't tap, Mickey. Come on, Mickey. Damn it. Damn it. have won the Rise or Die match. And as a result, Dr. Leonardo Darwin takes control of Rise. You are looking at the absolute worst case scenario for Rise Wrestling. Dr. Leonardo Darwin, still your Rise Champion, and now he owns Rise Wrestling, Lock, Stock and Farrell. One second, there we go. You fucking make sure it's one second next time. I have to fucking do. No, Dad, if you want to be a wrestler for my promotion, you're going to come in this ring and explain why you deserve a fucking job. No chance. No chance. No. Who wants to hear some real life fucking trauma? The trauma is the life and times of Danny O'Doggy. For eight years, he's been a promoter of Rise, but he's had his trials and he's had his tribulations, haven't you, Dad? We know only a fraction of the truth behind the fucking degenerate alcoholic that is Danny O'Doggy. Four years ago, Rise had four shows simultaneously that didn't make a profit. At the end of that profit, no pun intended by the way, <laughs> at the end of that, he lost his home, he lost his mortgage. You had to move back in with your mum and if you remember, because she called me, I'm going to say it, she said I think Dan's going to commit suicide. <laughs> 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 
I'll give you every fucking chance, I've done everything for you. And I can't believe this is the way you fucking treat us. Right back. Hold him! Hold him! Oh, by the way, he's looking at me! Get hold his arms as well, because he might fucking attack me! Daniel O'Doherty! Daniel O'Doherty! He's gone from rice! Disgusting way to end things, Danny O'Doherty. Get you a job! 
But fuck, it looks good! Fuck, it feels good! And fuck, it sounded good too! Saxon Huxley establishes dominance in the Rise Wrestling Ring once more! Huxley, a one-man machine, a one-man army, taking out British top teams. Oh, and Huxley! Eat shit, Darwin! Jackson Huxley turns the tide on British top team, spoils their after party. Rise Wrestling will never be the same again. Leonardo Darwin runs the show, but the muscle cat, Saxon Huxley, is back. From all of us here at Rise, I'm Tom Campbell, and there he goes. There goes Saxon Huxley! Saxon Huxley is back at the first place that he could ever call his home. Back in the Rise Underground, a place full of chaos, misfits and violence. And I couldn't stand around and watch Darwin turn this place to ruins. I couldn't stand by and go and live a normal life. Do you think Saxon Huxley can go and walk down the street like a normal man? Do you think Saxon Huxley can go put on a suit and tie and live a normal life? Look at me. I'm Saxon Huxley. I live for this. I need this. I'll walk through hell for this. And Darwin, you will be whimpering and crawling down at the boots of Saxon Huxley and the only thing you'll be able to hear are the cries and whimpers.